What's up my friends? So I was just about to make these power packed, protein packed energy bites for myself. So I thought, well, why don't I just uh, set up the camera that way uh, maybe you could check it out too. So it's very simple. This is a very clean, very um, natural sort of, uh, uh, I don't even want to, well, it's not a supplement. It's just, it's like a protein bar almost. Um, I eat these all the time and they're delicious, simple to make, and you will see. So I'm gonna start with two cups of old fashioned oats. And uh, oh yeah, I like to put them in the blender for just a moment, so you'll see. So we'll say two cups, two full cups of the old fashioned oats. That's what I use, you can use whatever kind of oats you want. But then I just take them and put them in the blender just long enough to chop them up. Um, just kind of meat, uh, low. Okay. So that they're just chopped up, you know? They're just kind of like that consistency. Now I'm gonna put them in there. And now I'm going to uh, add flax seeds, two tablespoons of flax seeds. And you wanna make sure that you chop up the, the seeds, okay? So when you add these flax seeds and the chia seeds, make sure you chop, you put them in the blender. So two tablespoons of the flax seeds and two tablespoons of the chia seeds. Now these have incredible health benefits. And besides all that, they make you feel full for a long time and they just make me feel good, yeah? I mean, I don't take any kind of protein powders, no kind of supplements, no, I don't even take vitamins. I just get it all from Whole Foods. So, uh, now we're going to blend these up for a moment. Yes, and the reason that we blend up the uh, seeds is because they, they can be very difficult to digest if you don't blend them up, all right? So now I pour the seed mixture into here because I eat mostly, I would say, the Ayurvedic style of, uh, of cooking, of eating, of living, really. And that is focused primarily around digestion, ease of digestion. So uh, for that reason, we want to blend up these ingredients. They don't have to be super fine, but pretty fine. And then take uh, some natural peanut butter. This is just ground up peanuts. And, no, well, okay, let me back up just a second. If you like, which you can, and I do like, go ahead and put uh, some chocolate, some semi-sweet chocolate chips. I do really like that. Uh, put kind of a lot. It's my one, you know, but at least they're simple ones with, and they're mostly cacao, okay? So, uh, it is what it is. And then give it a good mix up. Oh yeah, be sure to wash your hands, by the way, okay? Because um, you're gonna be kneading this stuff by hand. Kneading it with the K, you know? So make sure it's nice and mixed up. And then add you, oh, Probably that much peanut butter. I don't really know how much that would be. Um, maybe a half cup, uh, maybe closer to a cup of peanut butter. Okay. And once you get that almost cup of peanut butter, I'm not good with measurements because I never measure anything myself. So. Now, this is raw honey, okay? And don't be shy about the raw honey, okay? Add plenty of it. This stuff is nectar. The muscles love this stuff. Big old chunk of honey. I mean, the muscles, the, the body loves this stuff. So, uh, don't be shy with the honey, okay? And that's what makes it like taste good and stick together. So, we've got all these ingredients in there now and we're just going to mix them all together, you see? 
It looks like this right now. Yeah, peanut butter, honey, chopped up chips, all that stuff. So then we're just gonna mix it with this for a little bit until it uh, starts to form something. It's a little bit difficult to do, holding it, showing you guys. But you see how it's starting to get like a consistency of, uh, I don't know, maybe clay. It doesn't sound very appetizing, but you know what I mean. And there comes a point, guys, when you just gotta dig into it. So put your hands straight into it and start uh, start mushing, you know, kneading it around like this. And I like to make these, and the reason I'm showing you is because I find them super convenient. They keep for a long time. I mean, you can make them into little balls like we're gonna do here, and then you just put them into the fridge and they will keep for quite some time. They'll, you will eat them all before they go bad, believe me. And not only that, but they are packed full of nutrients. As you saw, just raw honey, raw unsalted peanut butter, uh, raw organic chia seeds, raw organic flax seeds, and some semi-sweet chocolate chips, which you can make you know, if you're super, super health conscious, you could make um, a little bit healthier, I suppose. But I don't mind it because I don't get any other sugars. I mean, I don't get any other artificial sugars besides that. The rest is just the uh, honey and the maple syrup. So, okay, it's gotten to a good consistency. And I'm just trying to be quick because I want to show you guys how quick this can be. So I got the good consistency where it's not really sticking to my hands. And that's how you know it's the right consistency okay if it's just a big sloppy globby mess then you got to either add more uh, oats to dry it out or you got to add more you know if it's too dry it's not sticking together you got to add more peanut butter don't be shy on the peanut butter either that's the good protein okay because in the vegetarian lifestyle like I live I mean not hardcore vegetarian but I don't ever buy meat I never eat meat or chicken none of that stuff anymore I mean I just I'm pretty much 95% plant-based, you know? Uh, so for me, uh, I get I get proteins this way. I mean, I'm never concerned about not having enough protein because the, the plant kingdom has plenty of it, plenty. I eat beans, legumes, legumes every day, and stuff like this, you see? So it's uh, formed into a nice little ball, and then you can sprinkle it with coconut powder if you like, you can do a number of different things. This is just the base. You can put dried fruit in it. You can put all kinds of stuff, man. Once you learn how to make this base, the sky's the limit. Man, my mouth's watering just looking at this because it knows what's coming. Mm-hmm. And if you eat it, you know, just like I did, and after you just made it and you're like, whoa, a strange texture, just let it sit overnight because the oats have got to absorb some of it and all of that. So just let them sit overnight and uh, judge it then, okay? So make these, always have them on hand. They're a great snack, power pack. They keep you full for a long time. They're full of uh, all the good stuff, okay? So uh, I hope this helps. I'm about to literally have a dinner of this stuff. Ooh, but I'm gonna wash it down with the homemade pecan milk, which is just blended up pecans, one cup pecans, three cups of water, a pinch of cardamom. That's it. All right, guys. Subscribe to the channel, huh?